So what's up guys, I am back. Uh, we were at the Quest. I was at the Quest this past weekend doing a Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, class. It was three instructors, Scott Jelinski, Brian Hill, and uh, Tim Heron. And on Friday we did the Scott Jelinski class, but then on Sunday he let, during lunch, he let everybody do the standards, uh, do the, the qualification that he does for the black belt where he gives out a patch. And um, I watched everyone uh, doing a, the cheater draw. So I saw every, if, I, if, I, if there was anybody, everybody that was inside the waistband, I, I didn't see anybody that wasn't carrying appendix who was doing anything other than they were using the cheater grip. So they're, they were coming from here. Um, so, and there were some people doing from outside the waistband, uh, who were, who were, uh, uh, qualifying. So I have been practicing inside the waistband from appendix. I am going to, I, I don't even know what my times are from that. Everything I've done have, have been from hands to the side or from the surrender position. So I am going to qualify today. Uh, completely cold haven't hadn't fired a single round i'm going to go ahead and qualify turn my timer on while i'm thinking about it i'm going to go ahead and qualify completely cold see what my times are and then that way next time i take a class i'm gonna i'm gonna go for a for a patch so um the times are incredibly difficult i think there were like 13 maybe 15 people that did it including brian and tim who uh tried to uh, earn the patch uh, uh, do the black belt standards and AJ Zito one person AJ Zito was the only one who uh, met each standard so incredibly difficult um, Tim was running a uh, something other than his competition gun but um, and he made I think he made it everything except the the bill draw I don't I think that was where he fell off but most everybody fell off on the first one, the three and two to the head. So that's where we're gonna go at three yards, three and two to the head. Then I'm gonna drop back to seven yards, do a one second, uh, uh, excuse me, a, a one shot draw from concealment at seven yards. Then I'm gonna run a bill drill at seven yards. And then I'm gonna move to 25 and do a one shot from concealment. I think the part time on that one is a one and a half seconds. So um, everything I do, I'm gonna write it down uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so stand by. That was a two five. The head box came off and put that back on. So I'm at seven yards. I'm going to draw and shoot one, go and mark it out, draw and shoot six, build drill, go and mark it out, move to 25. Here we go. Was a one three three. All right, next is the bill drill. Uh, draw and shoot six. And part time for black belt standards is two seconds, but of course two five will be happy. I'll be happy with a two five. Here we go. Two two nine. I might have jumped on that, but I'm gonna keep it because I couldn't tell. Let me go mark those out. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go to 25. This is the hard one because I don't practice at 25. So here we go. 
All right, here we are at 25. Um, and I don't, I've just started practicing 25 yard shots. So I am going to, if you can see that there, that's a bit of a ways with the sun in my eye. Um, I'm going to take all the time in the world to make this shot. And I'm not quite at 25 yards. I'm standing at 24. I am right in front of the 25 yard line. But here we go. Nice and smooth. I'm gonna take all the time in the world to make this shot. I wanna make it on my first go, even if it takes two and a half seconds. Um, so I don't have to redo this. I, there's no redoing in class, or at least I didn't see anybody redoing. So um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna take my time with this shot. Stand by. I jumped. Let's try that again. I think that was good. Let's go take a look. All right, 25 shot was not good. It was a little right. So uh, I'm gonna take a second one. If I don't hit it on this one, then um, you know, I suck. Here we go, stand by. to be good I think it was good we'll see forgot to show the time on that I apologize one one eight zero is the time one eight zero felt like forever but if I hit it good job if not oh well all right so these are my two 25 yards here and I, i'll be honest and this is no excuse uh i have not shot this particular gun i've sent my shadow systems out to get my the beaver tail shaved off to, so it matches uh the the glock without the back strap the glock uh, beaver tail so i can get a better uh, grip when i'm making my purchase i had a lot of issues this past weekend getting uh getting my claw grip so uh i did not hit my 25 yard shot here are the two that I made. So um, the other ones I did, these are my other shots from my three and two. Let me get that one in, three and two, and you'll see that if I can overlap the video. So um, uh, I forgot to write my times down up here, but that was my first one, and I'll go back and get my other times and, and lay them out for you. So I've got some work to do, but I'm not, I'm not too far from the standards. I think my hardest one is gonna be the, the um, three and two. So although I did not get the 25 yard, I got a good um, time for the first three standards and I'm gonna work that 25 yard shot. Uh, I just, I haven't been able to practice, at least on this range. I've got other ranges, but I just don't shoot 25 very often. So um, I, I'm gonna practice that. I'm gonna work on that shot. And I've got some times, some good, decent times uh, for my first three standards to work on. Mostly it's, it's reacting to the buzzard and getting that dot right where I want it for that first few shots, making sure I'm getting a good master grip, making sure that I am managing recoil well. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider uh, dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.